What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Capsi, Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Uh, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, we're at 13,070 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. I do. Okay, so I got another channeling. It's pretty negative, but I'll put it out there. Um, this is terrible. It sounds like it's upcoming. So um, I think one of you guys is going to be connected to this. That's why I'm getting this channeling. Um, I'm just going to go in there and make me some chicken, uh, baked chicken in a minute, but um, I'll put it out. I love and appreciate you guys so much. I do. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was there's about to be a very serious um, medical error in a hospital soon. Very serious. Um, I heard some on the um, nursing documentation side, some um, surgical some surgical. Um, it is about to become uh, very detrimental. There will be a very serious uh, medical lawsuit out of this. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, man. However that resonates. That's why another reason why I'm glad I'm not in the damn workforce no more. Freaking lawsuits. And that's just the damn truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. So there's about to be a very serious medical error, error soon. Somewhere, I heard in a hospital, somewhere in a hospital, so, and so, somewhere. I didn't hear a location. You plug it in, how it resonates. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But some, I heard it's on the medical, uh, the nursing documentation side. Some it's on the nursing documentation side. Some it's on, so nursing personnel. Some it is um, in the, surgical um like operating room is what i'm feeling um sounds like it's surgery related you plug it in how it resonates some it's surgery i feel it's surgery related i didn't hear what kind of surgery it was um i don't know i'm not a surgeon i'm not a doctor um but obviously i think it's in the operating room um and some kind of surgical procedure um I heard in a hospital, so it's not an in-clinic office procedure. They're doing in a clinic somewhere, in somebody's doctor's office. This is in an actual hospital in a freaking um, OR, an operating room is what I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. Heard it's going to lead to a um, lawsuit. It's going to lead to a lawsuit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Look what we got on the bottom deck. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Courthouse. Number 23 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 23, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 23. It is about to be very, very, very serious. And this family is not going to play around. They will take legal action. Oh my God, I heard it's going to be very, very, very serious. And this family is not going to play around. They're going to take legal action. So courthouse energy, um, the family of this patient is what I'm feeling. It's a patient that's going to have surgery. Um, like they have to go in. Like they'll be in the hospital to have surgery. They're not just going to do an in-clinic, in-office procedure in somebody's, um, like a doctor's clinic or office or what have you. They're actually in the damn hospital. Um, like the freaking uh, OR is what I'm feeling. Um, I heard it's, uh, the family is going to take great action. They're not going to play around. So this is the medical lawsuit energy. Courthouse, they're going to, I mean, they're going to fall suit. I heard a medical lawsuit. Um, I didn't hear specifically what the hell this is, but it is something regarding some kind of screw up in a um, um, surgery setting, like an ER. I'm not sorry, not an ER, not an ER, an OR operating room. Um, 
and not only there, but nursing documentation regard also. So it's not just the medical, like the doc, it sounds like it might be doctor error or doctor's error, possibly, but definitely, definitely nursing error for sure. Definitely nursing error for sure, for sure. Because I heard nursing documentation specifically. You plug it in, how it resonates, man. Well, they were trying to take my job so damn bad. But, you know, the thing is, is people don't realize are nurses, nurses go through a lot. They go through a lot. Physically, mentally, every damn day of their life. They go through a lot. And I can speak on this because I'm a fucking nurse. I've been a nurse a long ass time, an RN. They go through a hell of a lot. And, and, then, and then they have to worry about fucking lawsuits. I don't care what aspect you work in, whether you work long-term care, whether you work uh, assisted living, whether you're a DON, whether you're a floor nurse, whether you work in the hospital, whether you work in the ER, whether you work up on the floor, whether you work in the OR, everybody has to worry about lawsuits. And that's just the damn truth. Somebody's family's about to not play around. There's about to be a huge ass error. And they're about to lawyer fucking up is what they're about to do. Somebody's getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge. Somebody's getting a huge ass wake up call. Huge. Well, I'm serious. I mean, I'm serious. We have four shift reverse, official person upright. Number four, 22 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Four, 22 could be a possible age of a child or years or somebody you're connected to or age of you or somebody you're connected to. Four, 22. Four shift reverse. This hospital is about to get a terrible reputation soon and quickly in a city. Terrible. Oh my God. I heard this hospital is about to get a terrible reputation soon and quickly, soon and quickly. So some kind of, there is about to be a huge error. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Huge ass error. I mean, we're talking freaking OR room energy. OR operating room and nursing. So I don't know if we're talking PACU, like, um, Pack you as type energy or um, or on the floor, post-surgical or what have you or what have you. Uh, but definite medical error energy. Um, many, 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 many people are going to be involved in this. Many people. It is about to be mortifying, mortifying, mortifying to many people. Many, many, many people are about to be involved in this. Many people. It's about to be mortifying to many people. This is God. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Heard this hospital, some hospital is about to get a terrible reputation. And I'm just serious because of this. It's about to happen in a hospital and it's about to give the hospital in this city, I heard a city, a terrible reputation, which hospitals are in cities. They're not little bitty little 500 populated area towns. And that's just the truth, usually. Um, this is terrible. I don't know why we have courtship reverse. Maybe somebody's single in this lawsuit. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. There will be a huge investigation and a lawsuit with this. In the investigation, a particular single person will be known to be inebriated. Drugs, alcohol. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. There's about to be a huge, and uh, I heard there's going, oh, it hasn't happened yet. But when it happens, there's about to be a huge investigation. Um. And a huge lawsuit. So this is about to start up a huge shitstorm in a city, basically. But however this resonates, 
when the investigation is performed on this, I heard somebody's going to be known to be inebriated, drugs and alcohol. So I think it's a single person that's about to be under invest. Well, I mean, it sounds like many of these people. I think it sounds like doctors and nurses and many staff members in this hospital that was involved in this medical mishap. And it sounds like it was surgery about to be involved in this. Um, drugs and alcohol found in somebody's system when they do the investigation. I don't know if the company's going to do this investigation or if they get um, like police in there. I don't, I don't know how the hell this works. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I'm assuming the company is probably to do the investigation. I'm assuming that, that for the company, I mean the company for the hospital, because you know, hospitals are usually corporate entities and that's the truth. Some, I'm assuming some, maybe not, but all, both, t both hospitals I've ever worked at were through corporate entity entities. And that's just the truth for real I can just tell you from my experience, the two I've worked at were corporate entities. They were connected into corporate entities. Now, some may not be. But, however that resonates, whether the company does the investigation or they get somebody else, maybe they get the state in there to do an investigation. I don't know. This is some serious shit, though. Um, but, I, but the investigation is going to reveal, I feel, a single person, because, of course, you're perverse, inebriated. I heard drugs and alcohol. So, somebody's going to do a damn drug test and an alcohol uh, screening or some shit. Like, maybe it's a blood test. They can send to that. And, um, there's alcohol in their system or um and drugs one it may be alcohol one it may be drugs one it may be both but somehow alcohol and drugs is going to be found in this investigation either in one person or two plus and i feel it's single people here we have courtship reverse they could have went through a divorce they could have um i think they're legally single or dating or they like to date you know i mean i don't judge anybody but um uh, I do judge when you go into work inebriated under drugs and fucking alcohol and you work in the medical profession because that's a slap to my fucking profession if anybody needs to hear that. A slap to my fucking profession. I get wrongfully terminated, but yet there's people up there in the fucking somewhere in a freaking um OR and in a hospital currently, it sounds like currently inebriated under drugs and alcohol, but yet I get wrongfully terminated. Slap to my fucking profession if anybody needs to hear that. There will be arrest here. And license revocations. This is about to become very serious very quickly. There will be arrest here. Um, and revocations of licensures. Um, very serious. And it should, yeah, whoever this person is, I feel this might be an investigator about to do this or company. Maybe it's corporate about to do the investigation. Maybe it's police. Maybe it's feds. Well, I'm sure it's probably not feds. Maybe it's police. I'm thinking local police or state or it might be um, corporate. Might be corporate. But they're coming up as official person energy. Um, they're not messing around. They're not messing around when they do this investigation. I heard there will be revocations of licensures here. And they should. They should revocate the licensures. Because you, that's a slap to the face of my profession. A person that keeps getting wrongfully terminated. A single mother that keeps getting wrongfully terminated in her city. That doesn't drink. That doesn't do fucking drugs. But yet she gets wrongfully terminated and she can't fucking pay her mortgage or pay her fucking house off. But yet you got people up in fucking um, ORs and work in a goddamn hospital that go into hospitals apparently inebriated under drugs and alcohol. If anybody needs to hear that. I didn't hear anything else. This is some sick shit. And honestly, good kudos to this person. I, I think it's many people about to get involved. It's not just one person. It's about the shit ton of people. But it just, it as a fucking RN, this pisses me off. Sitting over here knowing I was fucking wrongfully terminated. And there's people up in fucking ER somewhere in the city in a hospital.
hospital that go in zazi dazi dazi fucking drunk as a skunk and under drugs it's sickening love you guys namaste